five here. The pool right now at an astonishing $2.7 million. We're two minutes away from the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. The entire wagering menu on this race. Win, play, show, exacta, trifecta, superfecta, wagering, super high five wagering, and then horizontally speaking, daily double, pick three, pick five, and a very unique wager in all turf pick three with a $3 minimum. So a turf race here, the next two turf races to follow, you can put into your own turf pick three for a $3 minimum. So Rishi, we get your perspective on the horses coming over here, but are you willing sometimes to look into a race and accept, okay, America's got the better horse here. When you look at this race, is this a race where America probably beats Europe? I most certainly believe there are, uh, there's at least one race today where I think America can beat Europe okay. uh, on the turf. I think Love Reigns is the one to beat here, personally. Okay. Um, uh, Platinum Queen I'm against because of all the issues, never been round a bend, she's drawn out wide, she leans left. I think Dramatize might be the best of the Euros in this race. The Dramatize that won the Queen Mary at Ascot would be by far the best horse of the Euros in this race, the best horse suited to the conditions of this race. The fact that she's had a bit of practice round the bend as well at Southall. Carl Burke, her trainer, has had a stellar standout year with his two-year-olds. He's had the strongest crop of two-year-olds that he's ever had. And she was the leader of his pack in the summer. The fact that he was encouraged by what she did when she went to Southall after that run at York in August, and he felt that it was worth having a go at the Breeders' Cup, means that it's worth paying a lot of respect to her. And the fact that Ryan Moy is in the saddle as well, I think there are a lot of positives. The 13 to 1 that I'm looking at at the moment on Dramatize, I think that's generous, at least win play show. I like so, the sound of that. And the beauty about sitting in the middle, I got a US citizen here, British subject here. <laughs> and you're I, somewhere in between. Yeah, I have two passports, so I can root for both. <laughs> it's like being an assistant trainer. When a horse wins, you said I did a great job. When they lose, it's the trainer's fault. <laughs> I'm in a no win situation. I mean, I'm in a win win situation. No, I, when I'm listening to Rishi, I sometimes have to remind myself, wait, you're part of the show, because right. I'm so mesmerized by what he's saying. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like I'm at home. I mean, yeah. it's so fantastic. <laughs> fantastic insight, Rishi. So happy to have you here with us. The Pick 5 pool about to go past $3 million. you got to get your plays in now because the field has stepped on the turf course. The turf course is listed as firm. All right, we heard the bottom line from Rishi. What about you, Simon? I, I think some of the Europeans are users in here, but I'll, I'll focus on a couple of the American runners. Outside of Love Reigns, I think Private Creed, the three, currently at eight to one for Steve Asmussen, should get a nice trip. Won't be too far back, won't be on the lead with uh, Love Reigns, and I can think gets that perfect trip. The seven, Oxymore, Chad Brown. Kind of what Rishi was saying about Charlie Appleby. This is a horse that maybe could have gone on to some distance races. Juvenile turf, they cut back in distance here electing for what probably is a softer spot compared to that race so i'll use the uh several in here in a pick five situation three five six seven ten with the expanded format this is one of the great races over the two days at the breeders cup because it's a million dollars it's a true rarity a million dollars for two-year-olds sprinting on the turf the field is moving into line for the breeders cup juvenile turf sprint we do see an adjustment on the four dramatized here we think um, although uh, yeah we do see the rider off it looks like they're just adjusting the saddle it must be because they're not stopping the loading process no sometimes you get a little worried in that situation if there's going to be a late scratch but they're not they're just obviously going to go ahead this was the horse I think we saw gate schooling on breakfast of the Breeders' Cup with the blindfolds on in the morning, right? And the North American assistant starter is not used to that situation. He went to the gate a couple of times. They've loaded some of the others, Rishi, and I think they're well prepared for it. It looks like they took the blind off there or the hood off, I think. Yeah, and the original shots we saw, it looked to me that they were just readjusting the overgirth. Yeah. Sometimes, as you know, they, it just pinches a little bit. Yeah. When they get down to the start, worth making uh, a quick check to make sure that there's nothing that untoward. Pick five pool now past four million dollars. It's the first of 14 championship races over two days and the first of five on this day. It is the grade one Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint here at Keeneland. Let's go up for the call.
They are at the post. And they're off in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf Sprint. Oxymore for the lead. Love Reigns is there. The Platinum Queen Speedboat Beach have early speed. American Apple kicks in as well and moves up along with Tyler's Tribe. Speedboat Beach ahead in front. Tyler's Tribe is right there to the inside of that one. American Apple down to the rail third. The Platinum Queen is fourth up on the outside. Lady Hollywood fifth. Love Reigns is sixth in between horses. Persian Force going to be a wide seventh onto the far turn. Oxymore drops back on the outside in eighth. Dramatized is in ninth. Private Creed. Heavy Traffic there in 10th, running six from the front around the turn. Sharpest attack is in 11th, and Mischief Magic is last of the 12, 21.65 seconds. The time for the opening quarter. American Apple from the inside. Speedboat Beach, Persian Force on the outside. Dramatized looking for room against the rail. Persian Force, Dramatized coming up the inside. Private Creed is still five from the front. Dramatized charging up the rail toward the lead. Persian Force is still there. The Mischief Magic, what a run. Mischief Magic bursting through a crowd. Mischief Magic, tremendous stretch run for William Buick to win the Juvenile Turf Sprint. One minute, 2.41 seconds, and that is a stakes record. It's like he never left, because he didn't. Charles Appleby is back at the Breeders' Cup and already putting on a show. It's Mischief Magic picking him up and laying him down like a house of cards. But how did William Buick pull off this win? I mean, this goes against everything we were talking about for the European horses. He's dead last here, Richie. I don't know whether we can pick it up. Look at him here. Dead last down the backside. I mean, at this juncture, you think he's got nowhere to go. Buick has got a ton of horse. He's looking to climb over horses here and just waiting and waiting and waiting. And it parts like the Red Sea. Well, actually angles to the outside and comes running late. This is our champion jockey we're talking about now. Champion jockey for the first time in the UK. He is riding with more confidence and more skill than he's ever done. And when you're doing that, you can see things in a way that normal humans can't. No, and, and he had to here because he had every reason to get stopped maybe two or three times in the stretch, but yet every time he picked out a spot, he found a way. This is a unique view. We had an isolated camera on William Buick as he has to make these decisions with mischief magic. Yeah, I mean, look, he's got nowhere to go. I mean, he, he's got no, the decisions are made for him here, Rishi. He can't come wide. Yeah. He has to just sit and suffer, and hopefully something splits and opens up. And it does. But he has to have the horse yes. to be able to help him in a situation like this. Because if you have a, a missing a beat, your, your game's over. But the horse is brave as well to go through that gap there, just coloring Persian force, and then eventually Pippin dramatized late on, Private Creed running on to take third. Top Europeans dominated. Com comprise dominated three here. of the top four here. And the, the disappointment is the two, the top five, excuse me. The uh, disappointment is Love Reigns, who showed speed and just backed up willingly. The 12 Platinum Queen was giving Holly Doyle all kinds of issues down the backside there. But this was a very professional performance, I think. This horse, when I was working at Kempton two races ago, where we looked at what looked to be a good two-year race called the Cyrenia Stakes. And I was working with a guy and I said to him, I said, what do you think about this field? He said, I don't think we'll see a superstar that day. After the race, in fairness, he said Mischief Magic might be a superstar, but then he, he let the side down a little bit when he ran fourth in the Middle Park Stakes. He just didn't pick up. This was the Mischief Magic that we saw in the Serenia Stakes. And perhaps it was just the lightning speed, because they went much harder two starts ago, and certainly today they went hard enough for him to allow him to get into the race, and perhaps that is the key to Mischief Magic producing his best. A really strong...